What's up you guys? It's your girl and I'm back on your screen and I'm in Macy's actually. I'm not doing any shopping, but I'm waiting on my mom because she's doing some shopping. And yep, I'm in Oak Brook Macy's. So I did go to Sephora. You know I love going to Sephora, honey. I will wear y'all out. But anyway, I only went because they had the um 15% off sale. So I picked up um, something else, which I didn't need, but we'll talk about it a little bit later. All right, I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, okay, I finally made it home, and what I picked up from Target is this caramel macchiato. I never tried it before, but I want to see how it tastes. I picked up some more power wash. I like it because we use it for the um dishes they had these they weren't on sale but i love lemon so i got the kitchen fresh hands this is older neutralizing paraben free some snacks never tried this creamer before but i'm gonna try it um this is the non-dairy almond milk and oatmeal caramel macchiato i picked this up at walmart when i was there yesterday but I left it on the counter. I'm going to color my hair. Yeah, so I usually do the back, this color and the, the front, that color. Oh, and some, um, I'm filming on my cell phone. And what are these? These are some plastic caps. So, um, I'll show you that a little bit later. I got some gum. And what is this? Um, a little, you know, loofah. Some soap, antibacterial. And I want to try this. I saw the bigger one, but I'm not sure. I'll probably use this in a few minutes. And that is basically it, I think, that I got from Target. Um, I picked up some, some clothing. I'll show you that in a haul. All right. Hey, y'all. I am back. Just got off of work. Yep, I just got off of work. Make sure my lips ain't dry. Probably greasy. It's no fun wearing masks all day. And then you have to, um, I find myself switching them out because I don't like to keep the same mask on. It just, you get soil, especially after I eat. I don't like, I don't know, I like to say, man, I don't like to wear it long periods of time. But you know what is so funny, y'all? Um, walk into your car in a parking lot, and then you pull on the door and wonder why it's not open. Then you look and realize it's not your car. That's the tripped out part. And um, I did that the other day we were at the, the mall. No, I did that the other day when I had got off of work because I parked somewhere else. And I went up to the car and I was like, dang, that car dirty. I need to wash my car. I thought I did. You know, when you get off of work and you just did a whole bunch of hours, you get a little tired, you start talking crazy. So I realized this is not my car, I laughed. My coworker was laughing. But, yep, so I'm headed home. I ain't stopping nowhere. I have leftovers in the refrigerator. We eat leftovers where I come from. Yes, we eat leftovers, child. And I'm gonna heat up my food, take my bath, and get ready for bed. Because I have to be at work tomorrow in the morning. Please drive safely. And I will see you guys at the house. Oh, y'all want to see a, um, it's a real small haul. Okay, so I guess I'll talk to y'all a little bit longer. I went to Zara, my mother, she has me out shopping. I went to Zara and I like this little moto jacket that I purchased. It's like a motorcycle jacket. I don't know why I'm into this all of a sudden. And then I have another one coming. 
that I had purchased online. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But I purchased this jacket at Zara and I thought it was cute. And I tried it on and it it fit in the store, but I had a lot of clothes on like because I had my uniform, a sweater and my shirt and stuff. And I tried it on and I'm like, okay, it'll fit because I got on all these layers and I don't usually wear all these layers when I'm, um, I don't have no seatbelt on my child. When I am, you know, wearing a little biker jacket. Girl, I tried the jacket on. It's not, it's an extra large. And I'm shocked because it fits kind of like snug right here. Just this part, you guys. And it's an extra large. So I'm like, dang, I need an X. I need a 1X. Really, dog? So I'll show y'all the little mini haul from Zara. I think it's a fail, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all anyway. What's up my loves? I'm back. Ooh, my eye. I came home and I took my bath and I tried to take my makeup off. I don't think I took everything off my eye. Let me see. Let me see, let me see. I thought I took everything off, but I guess I didn't. That's my eye. Okay. But anyway, um, hey y'all. So I'm at home. I said I was going to bed, but I might. This is some Kiehl's uh, Powerful Strength Line Reducing Dark Circle Diminishing Vitamin C. I don't know why I'm putting it on my eye. But I just feel like it. Okay. So now we're going to go in with some Glow Recipe. I don't know why I'm doing this. Because I want to try that foundation from. I didn't show y'all my haul. Let me show y'all my haul real quick. The haul. So I'm going to show y'all in a few minutes. But first, I think I need some brows. Right? Let's put on some primer. Because I'm going to show you. Girl, your girl done went out and bought another foundation. And I did not want this foundation because I really wasn't like super in love with the original, in my opinion. I just felt like the color, something about it was off. This is my little Sephora bag that I be taking my makeup and stuff in, you know, when I'm running late. Then I got the little air pot. I don't know. I just threw that in there. But... Oh, and then my co-worker, a shout out to Karan. She picked me up some uh, hoops. They're like uh, rhinestone. These are so cute. Shout out to Karan. She's talking about Merry Christmas. Thank you, girl. I know she don't watch me, but you know, I just like to thank people because they didn't have, they don't have to do things for you, but they do it. So, um. Let me try these on. We can't wear a uh, big hoop earring, so it's so funny. Sometimes she'll just show up with them on. And I'm like, they are so cute. Well, you know, with this hairstyle, it's not doing anything for this hairstyle, you know. But it, they are cute. I love them. So I cleaned off this desk and it's junky again. So I'm going to eliminate some of this stuff. Because this is what I used earlier today. Y'all, I did this little style do not talk about me don't judge me this is just like a real quick updo um i pushed my hair back i put a little headband on my little headband trying to come apart but um yeah i gotta fix that but yeah i put my little headband on y'all i don't even know how the back looks but this is the style that i wore to work and we're gonna go in with some pat mcgrath i know you're like ain't you going to bed girl i'm playing in makeup i got time it's just eight o'clock and i wanted to show y'all how this foundation looks because i was shooketh how they say so we're gonna go in oh here go my little my mask i was looking for that i'm gonna have to wash that I'm going to do my brows. 
with this pencil. This is the BH Studio Pro HD pencil. And this was in my stash when I was cleaning up and I figured I'd use it. It's it gives me a natural brow in my opinion. I'm gonna show y'all. And I I know y'all like what kind of janky vlog is this? As my girl Napolicia say, what kind of janky? So um how y'all doing? Girl, I had a good day at work. It went by real fast. And one more day. It's kind of. They're sisters. They ain't twins. Okay. So this is what I do early in the morning. I throw on me some brows. Real quick. I got this concealer in there. My little five minute face. At least I think it's five minutes. Yep. So I make sure I um if I don't have anything else done, I got me some brows on. I thought about microblading. And this nurse at work, we were laughing about it because she um I'm not a nurse, but I talk to nurses at work. And um she she's just the cutest and um this other nurse was trying to convince her to convince us to get it done because her friend does it the microblading and micro shading and so i was like okay give me the name you know i i was like i had told her i said um let me see her work because you know i'm I'm kind of funny when it comes to you doing something permanent on my face. We just can't go to anybody. Because I don't know. I haven't really researched as to see how long it lasts. When you go back to get touch. Do you go back to get touch ups? Um, if you stuck with these brows. You just stuck with them. I don't know child. I don't know. I haven't really did any research on them. But lately I was looking at uh, a young lady on I think she's in Miami, if I'm not mistaken. And she's 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 really good. Um I'm gonna put her name because I don't know anybody in Chicago that really does a good job. And I'm sure there there probably is. I just um I haven't came across any. And um uh another lady had gave at work, she gave me um some information on her girl i think it's downtown but like you don't really want to go downtown if you don't have to go downtown and downtown can be congested i don't know how it is now since covid but you know when you think of downtown you're thinking about those downtown prices so uh the other nurse was telling us we should try her girl and i think her girl is in oak brook so the nurse was like, how much is, I'm going to say nurse, the, uh, my coworker, I'm going to call her Miss D. Miss D was like, how much is the, uh, micro blading? The girl was like, just 500. She was like, just 500. That's, shoot, that's a lot of money to me. I thought she was going to say like 175. Okay, 200. But dang, hey, five hundred dollars. That's a a car note, right? A real nice car note, in my opinion. But girl, you know, everybody's dollar is different. Amount of uh, how much things cost is different. Some people feel that it might not be much. But she was like, you know, that's the best decision that she ever made. Um, I don't know. You might ask me, was her brows looking cute? I mean, the pictures that she showed me, but she told me she needed to go back. So, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Um, I have to see somebody, like, get it done and, like, girl, she hooks you up because you ain't have no brows, you know. 
Don't be showing me your brows when God had already blessed you with a beautiful pair and you just, you know, trying to do something. You know what I'm saying? Show me the before and after. That's just my opinion of it. So I'm just going to play with this little um, quad. Y'all, I bought this at a um, long time ago. It's called the Call Me Bubbles. Girl, I just be throwing colors together. I ain't, you know, trying to look like a makeup artist but i'm trying to look halfway cute you know so i just be throwing stuff in here but yeah girl 500 dollars. Like, i just keep drawing them all she was like all the money you spend it for pencils i bet she probably like you could be getting your, your brows microblade and micro shade i don't know i don't know we'll see but as for right now i don't know i'm thinking I like the girl in, um, and I didn't even look at her pricing. The girl in, um, where's she at? Yeah, Miami, Florida. Yep. So I don't know how her pricing, but she's really good. Um, like, she's very meticulous and everything be even. The, the brows look even. They don't look, one is wop-sided or one is darker than the other or... I don't know. She just does a good job. So, um, I'm going to get the information for y'all. I'm going to leave it somewhere in the um, video. Probably towards the end. I don't know, but I'm going to leave it for y'all. Okay, so I did something like that. Girl, because, girl, I don't be having time in the morning time. I could make time, but shoot. I don't know. I'll be rushing. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put some mascara on. I left my purse downstairs. And that's where my mascara is. So I use this one. I've been using the Pat McGrath mascara and I love it. And I wonder how this eye cream, if it's working. Because the one that I purchased from the brightening eye it didn't really brighten much but it like deep puffed and since I received since I purchased well since I got this and it's just a little sample it's been working a little bit I think I don't know child. okay so I am going to just put a little color correct underneath okay so let me show y'all i picked up this foundation from let's see i picked up this foundation it's the fenty beauty by rihanna pro filter foundation this is the hydrating longwear foundation and i wore it on today but i want to show y'all i think i like this and i wore it all day and it still looked good even after 12 hours on my shift as opposed to the one from NARS as opposed to NARS. NARS is a little bit drying and I'm very oily. It's just it looks like you have on makeup and sometimes I like that natural look you know. Yeah. Huh. Hey mom. Hey. I didn't even know you was here. That's okay. <laughs> What What's going on, big boy? What are you doing? I'm chilling. I'm making a video. Mm -hmm. what, how, how, how was your day? Garbage. It was garbage? Yeah. Boy, this is the day the Lord no, has made. No, it's not. You better rejoice and be glad in it. This is the worst day of life. Okay, bye. You too negative. You can't be in my video. What do you, you know, mean? I, I delete negative, negative folks. Mm -mm, don't mess with my camera. My camera is... Uh, Who's this? Somebody gave me that. You can have it if you want. But no, you gotta eat dinner. Close the close the door. It's yeah. Crazy. Mm -mm. See, I be deleting negative folks when you get get the acting negative. I be like, ah! I don't even want to hear it. So I'm gonna take a pump and a half. I'm gonna use this brush that I had. Warm it up a little bit. 
And at first I was like, oh God, I done jacked up again. I done got the wrong shade. But because you can see this right here is looking light, but it oxidizes, right? And it oxidizes and it just, it worked. Yep, it worked. I don't think this is my favorite brush. And y'all, uh, Sephora, not Sephora, also had a E Cosmetic brush. Where is my E Cosmetic brush? This one right here. They have it uh, for $14. This is a really, really good brush, but I can't use it because it's dirty. But I swear, you know, stuff closes so early. Thank you, babe. Stuff closes. Mirror. Your daddy belt. Oh god. Stuff closes so early. Y'all this y'all know what kind of vlog this is gonna be like janky. I wouldn't even make this a, a um a haul video because you know we be having guests coming and they be looking like girl what kind of video she's doing. So y'all family, so this is what goes on behind the scenes. And um what was I saying? Yeah, so stores close early, like at 7, so, you know, um, I can't, I couldn't stop at the store. I got off early. I left work early. Y'all, I do not like this brush with this, so I'm going to use my little blender and wet it a little bit. So, I couldn't stop at the store. I was like, too, I wasn't salty or nothing. I just felt like, you know what, I just don't even need it. I just don't even need it. But I wanted it. I wanted to go to Ulta. But I know I'm late on board because I don't, um, I was kind of like giving up on the Fenty foundation because it was like hard for me to find my shade. It took me like forever. I'm not going to go through this, but like, I don't even think number 385. Is that 385? Yep, I don't even think 385 is like a, a pure match. Something about it. I don't know. Y'all, don't don't pay me no mind. I'll be going through a thing over here with foundations. But, like, I am, I know I'm in love with Pat McGrath. That's just hands down. I'm in love with Pat McGrath. Um, the NARS, I like it. It looks good. It looks flawless. Is great for pictures. Um, sometimes you just want that that natural look. So, you know, um, that's why I put this. This one's cute. Yeah. So this one is kind of like more of a natural look, in my opinion. Oh God! Here we go. The game is on. And he act like he at the game. And then the phone is going off. Yeah, I just feel like it's like youthful. I'm putting on a full face of makeup like I'm going somewhere. No one going to be it. So the next thing, I, I took this to work, this Pro Filter from Rihanna. I took it to work, but maybe I put it on. It wasn't my favorite. Y'all know what's my favorite. This one right here I just purchased from uh, Laura Mercier the Honey. But since this right here in my spot, I'm gone. Oh, shoot. This is Laura Mercier Honey. Oh, well, I guess I use it. Wait a minute, but I did have that. Where'd it go, y'all? Oh, it's down here. This is it from Fenty. I'll be I'll be getting these little small ones. You know. Be working for for you, girl. Let me see how Fenty looks under the eye. Are we doing this today? Girl, people put you in group text. Oh, we want to be bothered sometimes. <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm a mess. 
Some people put you in group texts and stuff. Okay, which one looks better? The Fenty or the Honey? This is this is Fenty right here and this is Honey. I'm gonna put some more Fenty on. I just wanna put on something. Where I don't even know where my um my stuff at. So I'm just gonna use the remainder, whatever's on the brush. I'm going to use a MAC blush I don't even use. This is called Fresh Honey. MAC had me buying so many blush back in the day when I was um like getting into makeup and whatnot. Going to the cosmetic store, purchasing makeup. Oh, darn well, I ain't need this stuff. I'm going to put it right back where I got it from. That's the thing. That's how my desk get junky. I don't put stuff back where I got it from. Put on some of this gloss from Sephora. Sephora? I couldn't think of the name. When do that coupon expire? Because she didn't let me use the coupon. This is okay, expired in Monday. Use between 9 17 Thursday and Monday, 9 21. Okay, so, you know. Got enough time. So let me do the bottom lash. Just put a little bit on the bottom. I ain't doing our liner now, y'all. Oh, and the shade. I know y'all like, why you ain't say the shade? The shade is 345. They match me with 330, but I'm like, I don't know if I do like 330. I think I like 345 when they held the little thing up. Okay, yeah. So I got 345. And so I guess throughout this video, you will see it oxidized for real. I just do a pop of color underneath. like so and then they have this little copper color that i just put in the corner all right mirror okay so we're just gonna spray a little bit of this this is the glow recipe watermelon glow Okay, so we just gonna spray that. And this is my fresh face. What you doing? Hi, making a video. I'll be down in a minute. That's your belt on the floor. Oh, this is so cute and fresh. What y'all think? My wing liner is like it. Eh! The wing liner. But overall, what y'all think? Is it a match? Did I turn up the light? Yeah, I did. This is it. It feel like y'all wobble sat a little bit. Girl, I got y'all up here on a paper towel holder. Okay, so let me show y'all the little mini haul that I have. Um, I need to wash my hands because I have makeup on and I don't want to touch um, my shirt. So hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. I had to wash my um. I had to wash my hands. Okay, I'm back. I had to wash my hands. So, let me show you this really quick haul from Sephora. Um, you guys know about the uh, foundation. I like this foundation. It just, it looks nice. And I picked up this Beauty Bento. This is Kaja. This is the Bouncy. <clears throat> this is the Bouncy Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Trio. I know I'm late. Y'all probably already heard of this. But I thought this was beautiful. And it's like, looks like so. And then you just open it up. Okay, so this is one color. Then in the middle, you have the shimmer, which is really pretty. I'm gonna swatch it too. That's the shimmer. 
put more on it. Let me do the first one. And this is the last one. Just wash that one. So this would be really pretty because you can wear that on the lid, on the outer, and put that like in the the tear duct, or you can do a halo. And I seen these on the end cap. Y'all know how it be. You standing in line, you looking at the stuff. So I picked up this from Pat McGrath. Like I need, like I need lip glosses. This company called New Revolution. They sent me all these lip glosses except for these two. So why am I going out buying lip gloss? And then I just ordered some more lip lip gloss. So this one is from Pat McGrath, and the name of it is called Love Potion. I'm gonna swatch that for those of y'all who want to see it. And this is pretty. That's Love Potion. Sunset Rose. That's Sunset Rose. Have that one right there. This would be cute on the outer and that in the center. But that is called Flesh Flesh Six. And they smell so good. So this is the first one, which is Love Potion. The name of this is called Sunset Rose. The last one. This is like a fall color. And the name of this one is called Flesh Six. I put that in the center and change it up a little bit. Okay, so these are the shades. What else? She gave me a bunch of rehab for your skin from Drunk Elephant. She gave me a bunch of these samples. And this is a different one, which is called Only the Best Will Do. This one. Can I see? Zara Hall. The first item that I want to share with you all is this here jacket from Zara. And I like the sleeves, but this is the part where it's a little snug in my opinion. And I picked this up in an extra large. So I don't so I don't know what the dealio is. Let me show y'all. Come back some. Come back some. Hopefully you guys can see me because I don't have on the... I mean, it's cute. It's cute. This is the way the back is made. I mean, it's cute. I was thinking, should I keep it? I don't know. Something about this part. I don't know. It's cute. I like it. Um, I like the shoulders. This part. Child. I don't know. But I guess these. this will be one of the jackets that I um, I just wear when I'm wearing like tank tops or something light. Because I know I can't wear like a heavy sweater and have this on. So. Um why I threw this in there but this is the jacket that I purchased from what was that TJ Maxx you guys seen this in the last haul yeah but this just feels like butter I showed y'all this already but I'm gonna try it on again and this is yeah you can't even wear like a big sweater with this one either but the arms is a little bit long the arms stop like right here with that jacket so this is cute. Out of everything, I like everything about this jacket, but this, I don't know, child. This part right here, maybe because you're supposed to have it zip. But then the flap, let me see how it looks zip. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, this is cute. Okay, so we're going to keep both of them. Then I got another one coming, and I hope, I hope that ain't cute. 
but okay so that one was from and this right here is a sweater that I picked up from Zara and this is the cutest but it makes me look chunky in my opinion this would be cute on somebody like really small petite so I'm kind of undecided and plus it was for $45.90 let me sit right here what y'all think is it cute it's cute for the winter and then you have your little jacket on let me see let me see how to look with this jacket oh it does it works yeah so I don't know let me know down in the comment section give me a thumbs up if you like it if you don't like it don't be giving me no thumbs down y'all but ouch yep yeah. so um, if you like it leave a comment that I should keep the sweater if not whatever well, that is all that I got from Zara and then I went to Target and I think I showed you guys earlier the little stuff that I end up picking up but then I picked up these tees because I was thinking I had this um leather jacket and I can do a light tee which is a white uh v-neck like so and they fit really nice on and they were supposed to be uh seven dollars because they're actually eight I got them in a size medium they're, they're supposed to be a size I'm sorry it's supposed to be um seven dollars but when I checked my receipt, yeah, I looked at my receipt and she charged me for the tees, which is clothing, $8. She only uh, rung up one. She didn't ring up both of them. So, because they're actually seven. So, oh well. I just keep them both. So, this one is a cute shade as well. And I like these, they're soft. It's the V-neck and they're by the brand Coral No, that's the color Coral Sabe. This is by the brand Universal Threads Goods Company. And I wanted to give an update on this. This is the Method Body in the Body Wash Peony. This stinks. I don't like it at all. And it was $1.99. And I'm so like uh with that by only this little bitty piece being a dollar ninety nine if I ever go back into Target I might return it the way I feel but other than that guys this is my haul and yep yeah, I'm gonna get off of here upload this for you guys and I hope you all enjoyed this here video with that being said I'm gonna get off of here and I'll see you guys in the next one until then have a blessed one Bye, y'all.